Great day, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Sergeant here with an extra special video. Now, as you know, we are currently in the month of April, and April is Autism Awareness Month. And throughout a few videos that we're going to be doing, I want to educate you more on this order called autism and how students, children, families are affected by this every single day. This is one of the most commonly diagnosed disorders, in, especially in children. Uh, around one in 100 kids are diagnosed with some form of autism. Now, the interesting thing about autism is no one experiences this disorder the same way. Their experiences are different, but it's up to us to bring awareness, to bring understanding and acceptance of this disorder. Ladies and gentlemen, together we can bring awareness to, to as many people as we can. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to read one of my favorite all-time books. Um, it is a great way to get students involved and knowledgeable and learning about what it's like to have autism um, and how sometimes they're not able to express their thoughts, express what they're saying and express what they're thinking. And um, it's got a great message. So with the help of some of my incredible students who also share the same passion and bringing awareness for autism, uh, we'd like to read this story to you right now. Zane ran home as fast as he could. Nobody gets me, Mama. Mama hugged Zane. He began to tell her about his bad day. This morning in art class, the teacher started a hoof painting project. I didn't want to get paint on my hooves, so the teacher gave me a paintbrush. All the other zebras noticed and were making fun of me because they did not understand why I wouldn't use my hooves. Mama said, I, I bet that made you feel different from the rest of the group. Zane replied, it did, it did put, but um, paint is just too weird to touch. During math class, the fire alarm blared loudly while the children in my class were getting in line quietly and I hid under the desk screen and covering my ears. The class left without me. Me and I was scared until the firefighters found me. Go. When the class came back from lunch, everyone was putting their lunchbox in their cubbies. Some classmates were talking about a video game I play all the time, but I didn't know how to start talking to them. I started talking about all the things I knew about the game, but since I was starting staring at the floor, when the other kids walked away, I started talking louder. I really wanted them to hear me while everybody was getting ready for science class. We sat down for science and we were learning about the planets. Our teacher gave us each a planet to draw, but I wanted to create my own. When it came time to present, I felt different from the rest of the class again. My teacher loved my planet and said, whatever floats your boat. I spent the rest of the afternoon looking for a boat in the classroom. Zane was crying. How come all anyone sees is my autism stripe? Mama carried Zane over to the mirror. When I look at you, I see many different stripes. If one of them were missing, you wouldn't be the same. I see your power stripe when we get lost in the city. You always remember the way home. Your caring stripe makes you act kindly towards others. When your classmates think it's funny to bully other kids, you come to the rescue. Your honesty stripe 
lets me always trust your word. When other parents have to worry that their kids aren't telling the truth, I know you always are. My favorite stripe is your curiosity stripe. When all the other kids are falling asleep in class, you always want to know more. I love when you come home and tell me everything you learned. Sometimes you ask me questions and I don't even know the answers. Mama pointed out the rest of Zane's amazing stripes. The more stripes she explained, the better Zane began to feel about himself. By the time she was finished, Zane loved himself again. Zane ran outside feeling the warmth of the sun. Finally, he felt proud of all of his stripes. He said, there's more to me than just my autism stripe. It's just part of me. The other parts make the whole me. I love each stripe because with it, without them, I wouldn't be me. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that book helps you understand a little bit better what it means and what it's like to have autism. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, just because someone has autism does not make them any different from the rest of us. We all have different things that make us who we are, different stripes, so to speak, that make us who we are. Autism is just one of their stripes. So help me and join me in bringing awareness to autism, to those that have autism, and let's bring acceptance to this disorder and make them all feel welcome and comfortable. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. I want to thank my class for helping out. And until next time, thank you.